It's 8.30 a.m. You've got class at 9. You begin to meander towards campus, and you know you'll be passing Stick Boy Bread Company on your journey. Your bright orange frequent customer card is burning a hole in your pocket, and you suddenly find yourself at the front door. You yank it open, and immediately your nostrils are filled with the unmistakable smell of freshly baked bread. The loaves line the wall to your right, brightly illuminated and impossible to ignore. You settle on a small loaf to make what will become a killer grilled cheese very soon. You get your card signed off, head out the door, and continue to class a little bit happier because of this giant hunk of wheat. Okay, so you bought a loaf of bread. Great. But how did it even get there? Enter the unsung heroes of bread lovers everywhere, the bakers. Here's the reality. While we're asleep, all snuggled in our beds, these people are grinding all night in the kitchen, listening specifically to Monster Mash, among other things, at a high volume, so we can make an 8.30 a.m. pit stop to pick up a loaf of bread that's only five hours old. Here's what we don't know. We don't know what it's like to have white lungs from flour flying through the air constantly. We don't know what half a pound of dough resting on a scale looks like. We don't know that each baker takes a turn DJing into the night. We don't know that the little cracks on top of the bread have to actually be put there by hand. We don't know that the bakers are camera shy, for the most part. We don't know that the mixer used to make the dough could fit a small child. We don't know that someone tries to come into the bakery to buy bread late at night every single week. We don't know that these bakers sleep, study, and eat during the day and still come in from 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. to bake. We don't know about the delusional conversations that transpire in the wee hours of the morning. We don't know just how much bread is actually made in one night and all the places it goes besides the storefront. We don't know how heavy the bread spatula really is. We don't know the rhythm necessary for forming dough into loaves. We don't know that this is actually really therapeutic to do. We don't know that some loaves that look perfectly normal to the average bread enthusiast should not be photographed because the bakers are embarrassed. We don't know that none of these bakers are tired of bread, yet. We don't know about the late night baker to baker banter. We don't know how the hell someone does this to a loaf of bread. We don't know what earns a spot in the trash. We don't know the attention to detail necessary between a great loaf and an okay loaf. We don't know about the 20 minute chunks of wait time between batches where there is literally nothing that can be done until the dough is ready. We don't know what it takes to be a late night baker and still live a normal life. We don't know how our morning loaves of bread get there exactly, but we owe it to these people.